let's just put it this way. The advent of AI is probably gonna be more disruptive than even the advent of the internet. And if you don't pivot and adjust, you're gonna be left in the dust. So I dived right in and went on a search for 10 of the most useful AI tools for content creators, filmmakers, and videographers. I'm gonna give you a brief explanation of each tool and also give you a few ideas on how to use them. I'm also gonna leave links in the video description below to each specific AI tool that I'm gonna talk about. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first AI tool is specifically for filmmakers and it's called TrueSync by a company called Flawless. This AI tool translates your film into a different language while keeping the actor's voice exactly the same and it also makes the lip movements match exactly what's being said regardless of the language that it's in the results speak for themselves let me show you peut-être que c'était un de ces lèvres tôt qui font leur bagage le matin ou même peut-être qu'ils n'avaient pas d'amis mit einigen der bekanntesten und kriminellsten Familien in dieser Stadt in Verbindung bringt und du lässt sie in einen Bus stellen. It's already been used in actual films and as much as I pixel peeped, I couldn't find any distortions or artifacts on the actor's face or lips. So no need for translators, voice actors or subtitles. And most impressive of all, no more out of sync speech like we used to see back in the day in them old Kung Fu movies that many of us grew up on. Admit it, am I not? Much better than you. <laughs> Next we have an AI tool called Descript, and this blew my mind as well. So let's say you make a video, right? It'll give you a transcript of the audio, so as you're editing the text, the AI is editing the video. It could fix bad audio with a single click. It could automatically take out filler words in dead space. Um, 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 and wait, the taste of like, like non-chicken nuggets. So these nuggets are made from chicken, but they're made to emulate the taste of non-chicken nuggets. It can also generate speech from text, but it doesn't sound anything like those robotic AI voices that you've heard before. Check this out. What's good in the hood, my ninjas? May I please trouble you for a warm cup of milk? And if you upload a few minutes of your own voice or anybody else's voice, it'll be able to replicate that voice and use it for any future text that you input. It's free to use, but there's also some paid plans as well if you're a power user. I'll leave a link in the description below. Our third tool is called Video AI by Topaz Labs. You know how these camera companies keep releasing cameras with higher resolutions? First it was 4K, now it's 8K. Well, I'm not really sure any of that's gonna matter anymore because with this tool, you can upscale any footage to 4K or 8K and the results are pretty unbelievable. So you could take old cartoons from the 80s or home videos and straight up turn them into 8K. This is gonna be an absolute game changer for documentary filmmakers that need to use some old black and white footage. It also gets rid of video noise and grain. You can even give it 24 frames per second footage and it'll turn it into super smooth slow motion. And I know you can also do that using optical flow in DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro, but the results this is giving you are way better because there's no artifacts or any of that smearing effect going on. And the video stabilization feature also looks next level. So it's up for debate now whether things like IBIS or 120 frames per second are as important as they used to be. Try it out for yourself and see. I'll leave a link below. Now you may already know that I sell my Filmic Love Pack and Lightroom profiles for 15 bucks on my website. And if you're into color grading like me, then this next tool is looking pretty tasty. It's called Color Lab AI. So you could give it a bunch of clips from various cameras and it'll automatically color match everything for you. You can even give it a reference image from a photo or a movie and then it'll duplicate that look and then you can apply it to any footage. You could use it as standalone software or you could use it as a plugin within DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro or Premiere. It does cost about 40 bucks a month, but there's also a seven day free trial so you can see if it's a good fit for you. And that brings us to La La AI, which is a very simple but useful audio tool. It's a next generation vocal remover and track separation service for fast, easy stem extraction. So let's say you have an audio track and you want to isolate the speech and get rid of the music. Just upload it and let the AI do its thing. It can also take a track and separate it into individual stems without any loss in quality so you 
you could keep the parts you want and disregard the parts you don't. I could really see this coming in handy when you wanna use audio from a motivational speech, but there's some loud, annoying music in the background that you don't want. One click and it's gone. Next, we have a super simple AI tool for content creators called Layapix AI. You know how sometimes you use photos in the B-roll of your video, but to make it less boring, you add push-ins and pulls and pans? Well, now you have another choice as well, which is to let this AI tool use parallax to animate your photos. And I must say, the results can be pretty awesome. It's open source and it's free to use, so go have fun with it. Now, before we move on to our seventh AI videography tool, I'd appreciate it if you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future content. I appreciate it. And that brings us to a tool by NVIDIA. It's called NVIDIA Broadcast. This is a full-on AI suite for podcasters, broadcasters, and content creators. It can also be used for video conferencing and streaming, but unlike traditional platforms, this comes with a whole bunch of AI-assisted video and audio features. Hey guys, I'm Gerardo from NVIDIA, and I wanna tell you today about NVIDIA Broadcast 1.4. In this new update, we have a brand new effect, eye contact which is super cool because it will morph your eyes. So for example, here I can be reading at the script and it makes it seem as if I'm looking at the camera. You could be in an untreated room with bad acoustics and mediocre lighting, and this will turn it into a home studio. It gets rid of room echo, it removes background noises, it has an auto framing feature where the camera follows you around even if you move outside of the frame. We also have improved quality for a virtual background and the new vignette effect which can be combined with background blur. And here's the thing, it can do all of this on the fly, meaning that the person on the other end of your video call or your live stream is seeing and hearing the polished result without you really having to do too much. The next tool is more for the business side of things, which is fine because as creators, we always wanna be creating, but we still need to handle our business too. And that's where Mixo comes in. You type in your business idea and your company name and give it a sentence or two about what it is you do and within a minute, boom, AI created you a full website. And the results are clean, but they are pretty basic. But I'm sure this is gonna get much better with time. But even as it is right now, it's perfect for making a simple website where people can sign up for your newsletter or find out about what it is that you do. Our ninth AI tool is also gonna help you out with your business specifically your branding. It's called Luka. You pretty much just tell it your company name and choose a few different art styles that you like and boom, it spits out like 100 logo options. Once you choose the logo you like, it gives you mock-ups of shirts, business cards, social media posts, websites, and pretty much everything else that you need for your business or personal brand. And by the way, the first business that I started way back in the day was a branding agency where I used to do graphic design and my wife would do web design. So good thing I shifted over into video production and YouTube because it doesn't look like that's gonna be taken over by AI at least not for the time being. But on a serious note, if you're worried about the AI taking over your job, I wouldn't sweat it too hard because new opportunities are always gonna present themselves so long as you keep your ear to the street and you're willing to learn and try new things. Now, by the time you're watching this video, there's probably already a whole bunch of new AI tools that have already come out. So if I missed any, or if you know of any that are worth checking out, let me know in the comments below. And the last AI tool on our list is called CapCut. It's a free video editing software that incorporates a whole bunch of AI features to simplify the editing process. And I challenged myself to make a video in less than five minutes on my first attempt at using the software. And if you wanna see how that went for me, then I highly suggest you watch this video next where I show you what my first experience with AI assisted video editing was like. I appreciate you watching to the end and I'll see you in the next one. It's Fulan Creative and I'm out. Peace.